unhealthy food. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to do that. I don't know. Maybe the GT. I don't know. I'll think about it. Can you take us back to the moment when it was announced? Where were, where were you in your head? Um, I knew Scotty was going to win. I told him at the beginning of the episode, I was like, Scotty, are you ready to win? And he was like, are you? And I said, no, because you're going to. And I mean, I knew it was going to in my heart, and I accepted it. Like, I couldn't pick a more perfect person to get second place to. And I know that sounds cheesy, but he's my best friend, and I love him, and I couldn't be happier for him. Now, what about and I didn't lose. I got second place. I'm still winning. <laughs> Lauren, out of the three judges, which one did you identify with the most, and why? You know, all three of the judges are completely different, and I connected with each of them in different ways. And, I don't have favorites when it comes to the judges. I love them all the same, but for their own reasons. What was it like performing with Carrie Underwood? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. She's my idol, she's been my idol since she was on this show and in Scotty's position, and I just hope that someday people look at me the way that I look at her. Carrie, uh, uh, Laura, what Everyone looks like they're gonna cry. You know, I mean, it's just every day I learn something new about myself and I learned that I cry a lot, but I didn't cry tonight because I was happy. I, I knew that, I mean, I just, it's just, how could I be unhappy with second place? Like, there's a million people out there that would love to be in my position and I'm blessed. Even though you don't have a favorite judge, you were one judge's favorite. How did that make you feel? You know, it was really nice to me. Um, they were all really nice to me. I love them all. So what's your schedule going to be like from tomorrow to maybe next week or something? Are you guys no going on tour? I'm going to, oh yeah, we're going on tour. I think our first tour is, our first tour date is in July, I think. We get a lot of rehearsals before that. Knowing what you know now, would you have done anything differently throughout the season? Um, no. I feel like Life is a journey and you have to go with each step and you have some like stumbles along the way but that only makes you stronger and um, you know I feel like things happen for a reason and God has a plan for me and it was God's plan for me to get second place and I couldn't be more thrilled. Lauren, knowing how much you love Carrie Underwood. Hey, how's it going? Good to hear you. Knowing how much you love Carrie, how was it singing with her and what did she say to you after that performance? Yeah, it was a dream come true. I, oh, that sounds cheesy. I always say cheesy stuff. But I love Carrie. She is amazing. Everyone knows she's amazing. And I got to sing with her. That makes me feel pretty awesome. <laughs> what did she whisper something to you after? She, uh, we saw her whisper. Yeah. What was it? She, she said, wow, that's incredible. She said, we should take that out on the road. <laughs> oh, nice. now, what about the rumors about you and Scotty dating? Yeah, everyone keeps saying it, or asking if me and Scotty are dating, and all I have to say is ask Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I will never tell. Now, are you getting tips about keeping your growth together? That you should be wrapped right now, young lady. Yeah, um, I, don't, I have asthma really bad, so I think like all this smoke and everything just got to me yesterday, but it's okay. I am talking today. <laughs> and Last question. Can you just tell us about your, what kind of album you want to make, what, what kind of oh, I'll have? I'm doing, I'm definitely doing country, and if it crosses over, that's great, but country is my lane. What was your favorite, 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 favorite performance of the night? Uh, well, of course, singing with Carrie Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Lauren, and now we've got Scotty McCreary.